Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am looking at Diffmorph. What on earth is Diffmorph? Well, it says over here in the About section. Image morphing without reference points by applying warp maps and optimizing over them. Ooh, okay, so there we've got some example results there and those little animated GIFs. Excellent stuff. So what do we need for this? Dependencies. TensorFlow 2.1.3 and above. Okay, awesome stuff. So if, uh, like me, you're using Anaconda, then uh, you can set up your environment like this after you've done your git clone. You can uh, conda create minus minus name and then whatever you want to call it. And I'm using Python 3.8. That works great. Activate your new environment and you can pip install TensorFlow, TensorFlow add-ons and OpenCV Python. So there's a, there's a couple more dependencies there than mentioned in the documentation, but uh, they're fairly basic and then you will be able to run this program. So as you can see, it's very easy. Basically, it takes the source and target file, that, that's it. And uh, you've got a few unnecessary parameters there, but uh, I think these are these are quite fun. I do quite like the warp one. The warp one is good. So let's have a look at what is going on. So we've got a morph here. We can run the morph, do this morph. And uh, then we're gonna need a, a start image. Luckily, I have some test images here. So uh, let's just pick a start image. That one will do. That one will do. Oops. Space. And then the target file. Okay, let's uh, let's have that one. Yeah, that'll do. Okay. Excellent. There we go. Simple as that. So we'll uh, take the start, turn it into the target, and um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's it's really that simple. I'll play with a, a few of the uh, the parameters in a moment and uh, show you just how much fun you can have with some of those. Now, this is going to take uh, a few seconds just to get up to Epoch 1000, which is the default. So uh, let's have a, a little look at some of this code. Now, as you can see, the training epochs there defaults to 1000. You can uh, also increase that if you want to. And the default image size is going to come out at 512 by 512. I've tested it 1024 by 1024. Obviously, it takes a little bit longer, but uh, that does seem to work as well. And you've got a few of the defaults down there. Now, a, a couple of these things I, I changed just for, for kicks. Um, so down here in Use Warp Maps, you've got uh, Steps. And I also added uh, FPS there, which uh, defaults to, I think, 48 uh, in the video CV2 writer there. So uh, that just makes it, you know, a little bit easier. Uh, makes it five seconds, you know, 150 steps, 30 FPS awesome stuff uh, whereas the default is 101 steps and 48 um depends what sort of artistic look you're going for between the transitions really which is also where this little loop down here comes in as well so uh, normally that is 10 so you get every 10 frames uh, i dropped it down there to two so it's it's quite smooth uh, you will also get uh, a little result jpeg and the uh, movie is the same name every time although obviously you can change that quite easily and there you can see all the options right so that has finished for us if i have a little look in the morph directory we get this results jpeg so there's one thing turning into the other thing that's that's how it looks and uh, you get some maps as well there you go and then of course you get the little movie file Ooh, there you go one thing nicely transitioning into another so that's sort of a, a mix of uh, of all the different options there so you've got uh where are we? Add, Malt, and Warp. Now, what happens if you start going crazy with these things? Well, well, let's let's show you. So, this is like uh, the default one. This is a default transition. There we go. So you can see it sort of fades in, fades in. And now that's that very same transition, but uh, I've set uh, the Add to 0.2, Malt to 0.75, and I've gone Warp 3. Warp 3 around the planet. There you go. As you can see, that... Uh, that looks very different to the original one. Got all this weird stuff going on. So yes, I, I, I quite like the warping. Anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. You are changing one image uh, into another image. As you can see, if the images are fairly similar, then you get this sort of bouncing effect, which is quite good. So, uh, and you can also change them between various different images. So now let me just uh, show you a variety of different movies that I've made. Um, so you can see the curiosity of warping and diff morph. Rodent out for now.